Hey guys, welcome to my channel today. So I received a request from a subscriber, a high subscriber, who wanted me to do a video on uh, tips on how to pass anatomy and physiology. So here we are. Um, but before I go into the tips, which is why we're doing this video, I thought it was important that I actually go over um, something that's really important, and I think people really ignore, ignore this. So it's simply that anatomy and physiology is tough. Okay, so I just want you guys to get that, you know, into your system. Anatomy and physiology is a very difficult class. It is not um, one of those classes where you can sort of just, you know, sneak in, sneak out. Um, if you definitely have been breathing in and out of other classes, I just want to, you to know that anatomy and physiology is not a class you're going to just like, you know, slide in, slide out. And by that, I mean, if you've always passed your other classes by studying maybe once a week, twice a week, and maybe sometimes three times a week, and um, you still got to pass, um, you're not going to do that with anatomy. Just if you were thinking that you were going to do that, you're not going to pass the class. All right, guys. So the first tip is study every day. I started off, I, I kind of talked about it a little bit earlier but the truth is you have to study every day you're not going to study every week you're not going to study every other day you're going to study every single day now you may ask me Ewan why do you think I should study every day I mean I work I do this I have this I have this well here's why you have to study every day because even though I had to work as well when I was taking my Scott my uh when I was taking my anatomy uh I can't talk when I was taking anatomy and physiology I did work I worked as well and I still had to study and I, of course I had other responsibilities that I needed to, to meet. But you have to study every day. Reason being um, that anatomy and physiology class, they usually go over a lot of details just in one class. So, anyway, so that's why you have to study every day because the information is a lot. So if you don't study every day, you're going to be what? Piling up all the work. And if you pile up the work, what's going to happen is you're going to get overwhelmed. You're not going to understand every detail. And you can't really skip through anatomy like that because it's important stuff. You know, you got to know the bones of the body, obviously. You know, you have to know how it works. You have to know the joints. You have to know this. You have to know that. So it's not something you can be like, I'm going to skip this part. I don't think this is important. I don't think this is important. No, everything is important because everything connects together. And also, don't forget the lab part part of it because you're going to be going through the um physiology in class and then I think the anatomy is the lab or maybe I'm getting the wrong way but whatever it is you're going to go through you know the body parts in class and then you're going to come in lab and then you're going to connect that to your classwork which is your classes which is they're going to tell you how that functions how the part helps the function so you have to study yeah I wish I could say I mean, I wish I could say, yeah, you can get away from, you can get away with it, not studying, but you can't. You really can't. Take this from someone who took anatomy. So, tip two, guys. Okay, I'm being crazy. Anyway, um, second tip is okay. oh. ask for help. Ask for help. This is very important, guys. Let me tell you this. People from, from you know, when this class starts and you notice that you're struggling in the class um there's no shame in asking for help uh -huh. so if you notice that you know the professor went over stuff in your class and you don't understand what you're talking about then you need to ask for help not only in the class but also outside of class so for instance i would suggest that like you go to your um science biology department in your school um you know you can get tutors from from your department uh, ask for help. Tell them you don't understand it. Um, if you feel some people say they're shy to ask questions in class, that's fine. I mean, yeah, some of us are shy. What you want to do, you know, for if you're a shy type, you talk to your professor after class and say, hey, you know, I don't understand how this works. Um, you know, you went over something in class. I don't get it. Do you have you know, when can I come in to see you? So you can do that. You can also go to your biology department. You can you can ask for tutors and stuff. For me, I didn't have time to do that, to be honest with you. Like I didn't have time because I had to I had to work, like I said. So so for me, what I found that helped me was to go back on YouTube and find um videos on YouTube. There are a lot, I tell you, there are a bunch there's a bunch there are a bunch of videos online that are uh, very helpful just go on youtube i'd say you know youtube is like a lifesaver just 
whatever it is, or go on Google, just type in, you know, cardiovascular system or, you know, the, um, I don't know, whatever it is you have problems with. Google is your friend. Google is your friend. Go on Google. Don't be lazy. Don't be a lazy student. Go on Google, type in cardiovascular system or how does the heart pump blood. Whatever problem you have, type it on there. There will be articles or videos. That's what I did. If I didn't understand the class, I'd just be like, okay, well, Google got me. I'll go on Google. I'll Google what I want. I will put it in and boom. There are questions. There are a bunch of, bunch of videos online that you can search that can help you understand it. Yeah, so when you get on Google or uh, YouTube, um, yeah, they, they usually are very good at explaining you know, whatever topic, some videos, then the reason why I prefer Google is because, um, there's a lot of, you know, anatomy is like very, um, there's a lot of like visuals in them. And so some of these videos can actually, um, the videos, you know, can help you visualize what, what the text is talking about. So Google, use your phone, use your internet. I, almost everybody now has a smartphone, you know, go on Google. Google it, YouTube it, what is it you want? You want the cardiovascular system? Put it on there. You want the nervous system? Put it on there. Use your phone. That's what your smartphone's for. Not every time Instagram. Not every time post some pictures of yourself vacationing in, in Jamaica or whatever it is. Jamaica. You know what I oh, Yo, you just ruined my video. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I heard Jamaica and I go, oh, shit. So guys, use Google. Google's your best friend. YouTube it. If you don't understand the cardiovascular system, Type cardiovascular system in there and find it. You will find it. I'm telling you, you have hundreds of videos on everything in anatomy that would help you. You know, not every time Instagram or not every time you post your pictures of yourself in Jamaica having fun or wherever it is you go. I mean, that's why we have a smartphone, you know? I mean, I'm not saying don't post pictures of yourself. <laughs> Vacation, you know, whatever. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you have a phone that works, that's connected to the internet. Make good use of it and don't be a lazy student, okay? Okay, guys, the third one is, um, the third tip is always ask for a break. Okay, so here's why I'm saying this. Um, I know we as science students, um, we tend to want to take everything very seriously, which, yes, in all, yeah, fine, you can. You're a science student, so yes, you should take things seriously, but not all the time. Sometimes you need to take a break. You should. If you feel like or you don't, you should take a break. Um, the reason I say this is, um, when I first really started, I, I went all in. I'm like, yes, I'm studying, I'm this, you know, timing myself, giving myself goals. I'm going to get through this chapter, 10 chapters of, of, of anatomy, then five chapters of uh, uh, questions and reviews and all of that. And yes, that's good. You actually need to do that in order to pass. But I'm just saying that when you're done, with a certain goal, stop, take a break, take, take a walk, you know, get off the computer, get off your book, textbook, whatever it is you're studying with, take a break, just, I don't know what it is, whatever it is you want to do, uh, watch a show on Netflix, I'm guilty of that, I do that all the time, I mean, in between, in intervals, when I have to take a break, yeah, I'm not saying I stay on Netflix every day, I'm just saying, when I take a break, my break is Netflix. I uh, I remember when I when I when I feel like my brain is about to fry, I would stop prison break. I would stop my uh, studying and then time myself and take like an hour or so uh, for break. And I would watch prison break. I watch like an episode and then I go back to my uh, to my work. Yeah, so what? No, I'm too serious. Life is not that serious. It really isn't. Take a break. You need it. Um, because it, you may think, you know, um, oh, I'm wasting my time. I can use this time to cover up something. But here's the thing. The way the brain works is, you know, it can only take so much amount of info. And after it gets to that point, it starts like, you know, I don't know if you know what I mean, but it starts like acting weird. And it, you, you just notice at that point that no matter what you keep studying, it's not going into your brain. 
So at that time, there's no need to actually sit in front of the book. You're just frustrating yourself and you're frustrating your brain more. So just take a break. It's fine. It's okay. Take a break. Come back and feel refreshed and continue. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you today. Uh, don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to leave your comments. And if you have any other video suggestions that you want me to cover, leave your comments below. Um, what else? Share this video, please. With your friends, your nursing people, your health people. Just share. Um, be nice and have a great week. Talk to you later.